Okay, so uh, we are back, and uh, as I said, I could uh, keep tweaking this model, and I probably would if uh, I was going to use it uh, for other purposes than this tutorial. Uh, there are some stuff around here that could be smoothed out a bit better, and as I said, uh, around the air. But uh, for now, we're just gonna um, merge the two sides and make a clean up. So I'm gonna delete this side. And on this side, I am gonna um, delete the history by going to edit, delete by type, history. I'm also gonna freeze the transformations. And then I'm gonna go to uh, mess, cleanup. In here you have a lot of settings, so let me just uh, reset settings. And the first thing you want to do is to um, select the matching polygons. Because this will select whatever you have uh, issues with, and I would su I would like to select faces with more than four sides, and faces with holes. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. So let's try and see if we got anything. So we have uh, something in the ear. And we can see that we have two uh, faces that uh, have five sides, and this is not good. So we will have to try and uh, get rid of that, simply. So it's a good thing that we have two, because then we can kind of combine them. Um. So I'm just trying to figure out how we should solve this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But I think we also have a triangle right here. So if you want to select the triangles, we can just uh, select five, sa five sided faces. And we'll select everything. If we hold on shift. Oh, sorry. If you hold on control and uh, drag over the the model, we can see that we have some triangles as well. And this is uh, kind of lucky because the triangles are just between the end guns, so this is actually a quick fix. If you have some uh, other difficulties, you should uh, really spend the time fixing them because quads. Oh, sorry, end guns are very bad for your model. So I'm just going to select these two and delete them. The reason why I'm using this delete is because um, you can use the other. You can just hit delete. It uh, fuck is fuck up fucks up the mess. <laughs> I can't even speak now. So I'm just going to check if there's anything else, and there are none. So this is good. This means that our mesh is complete. Um, I'm just going to duplicate it by holding Ctrl D. And now I got two models. I'm going to make this minus one in scale X to get it over to the other side. Oh, I forgot something. Um, the first thing we're going to do is while you have the mesh, we need to make sure that everything in the middle is aligned on uh, the zero coordinate so I just double clicked on the edge which selects everything but I don't want these edges so I'm just gonna deselect those and also down here I don't want uh, the neck to go in as well so now I only got the middle edges and then I'm just gonna put a zero up here and this snaps them to the middle so now we can duplicate the mesh and scale it in minus x and then we can if we go to mesh we can combine it so now it's one mesh and if you smooth it you will see you have this uh, edge in the middle we want to get rid of that so a way to do that is uh, to go to edit mesh merge option box and if I just reset the settings, you can see this is the settings right now. So we want th 
the threshold to be very very low uh, and I'm just setting it to 0, 0, 0 0.0.0.1 or something like that and then I'm gonna hit apply this means that all the edges which are exactly on top of each other will be merged and this uh, merges a model um, so I'm just gonna duplicate the eye as well and place it here and I'm gonna hide everything but polygons so this is our mesh um, I think it's looking pretty good, I can see there are some details in the back head as well that we should uh, maybe smooth out but I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial uh, I think it's been going on long enough so one last thing is to uh, name your mesh of course and delete the history again so this is gonna be my head geo and let's delete the history Ta-da! You can also smooth out the mesh. So sometimes you would want to actually have one subdivision. If you're going to rig it, it might be a good idea just to have some more subdivisions. Uh, simply because uh, you will have some more control and the mesh will deform more nice. So if you go to polygons, you can use this uh, smooth tool. And this makes the subdivisions that we need, we can control it. So right now it only has, you can see, one divisions. So this is more for, for rigging purposes. But I mean, it also makes the model look cool, so I guess it's fine. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I know that it has been going on for quite a while. I hope you can uh, accept it. I'm just gonna show you the side, and I know you probably know it, but you can comment on the side, you can write me, and uh, you can just take a look, uh, look at the other tutorials. You can join me on Facebook, and you can join me on YouTube. As I said earlier in the other tutorials, YouTube is the most important thing uh, for me that you uh, subscribe. You can subscribe down here. If you don't have a account, I suggest you uh, you quickly um, create one and join my channel because it's worth it. <laughs> anyway, if you have any problems with the tutorials, feel free to uh, send me an email. I'm gonna pop the email on the screen. And thank you a lot for listening. I'm out.